The State Archives of North Carolina undertook a project to revamp the records retention and disposition schedules of state agencies. This training module provides an overview of the 16 functions of state government. I will go through each of these functions individually, explaining its scope and listing its subsections. I will also provide several examples of record types within each subsection. Agency management is the overarching management that occurs in all government agencies. Establishing organizational structure includes records such as histories and organizational charts. Information management encompasses inventories, statistics, and tracking materials. Operations includes routine administrivia, for example calendars. Reporting covers both reports written by and received by the agency. Strategic management includes policies, procedures, and plans. The asset management function encompasses acquisition, maintenance, inventory, and disposal of physical assets. Natural and cultural resource management includes accession and loan records at archives and museums. Property, facility, equipment, and supplies management covers maintenance records. Economic development is the function of encouraging the conditions for economic growth and improved quality of life. Business recruitment and services includes industrial client records from the Economic Development Partnership of North Carolina. Tourism covers tourism data and the records of welcome centers. The education schedule focuses on the diploma granting entities at the state level, and it also applies to the governor's school program, the curriculum and assessment standards developed by the Department of Public Instruction, and agencies that oversee professional credentialing. Administration of local education agencies includes attendance data and course matrices. Credentialing encompasses the coursework and participant information for courses provided to non-agency personnel for professional certifications, such as schools to train and certify law enforcement officers to use a preliminary breath testing device. Curriculum and assessment development includes records about end-of-course tests and standard courses of study. The Governor's School of North Carolina collects records such as nominations and student records. Student progress is documented through items such as the cumulative record and graduation lists. Financial management is the function of caring for the financial resources and obligations of a government agency. Accounting includes records such as accounts payable and accounts receivable. Budgeting includes requests as well as directives from the Office of State Budget and Management. Grants management encompasses all records from applications to final reports and deliverables. Investment management includes bonds issued by the agency. Lending covers scholarship and loans provided by the agency. Procurement includes requests for proposals and requisitions. Tax management includes the tax forms and returns generated and received by agencies. The governance function involves the creation of statutes and regulations, agency liaisons with government officials, the oversight provided by governing or advisory bodies, and the collection of archival election records. The schedule also includes archival records from the offices of the governor and lieutenant governor. Administering elections includes records such as voter abstracts and precinct maps. Executive office groups records from the governor's and lieutenant governor's offices. Governing and advising covers charters and minutes. Lawmaking and rulemaking includes the North Carolina Administrative Code, laws, and resolutions. The function of health care entails the maintenance and restoration of health by the treatment and prevention of disease. Administration of health care facilities covers HIPAA policies and patient safety organization records. Business office and patient slash residence financial records breaks out these financial records related to healthcare facilities because of their unique retention requirements. Clinical records include patient and resident files. Health related research documents work done to track and contain communicable diseases as well as environmental sciences testing. Laboratory services includes autopsies and blood bank records. Nuclear medicine, radiation therapy, and radiology records covers x-rays and MRIs. Nursing services includes floor census records and observation logs. Pharmacy records cover drug disposal records and schedule narcotics inventories. Social services and acute care records documents referrals and placements for patients and residents. Utilization review records document the utilization of healthcare facility staff, programs, and resources. Human resources records document the management of a government agency's personnel. 
Administrative investigations document complaints against employees and internal affairs investigations. Attendance and leave covers the various types of leave as well as timesheets and schedules for employees. Benefits documents health insurance, retirement, and other benefits provided to employees. Employee evaluations and certifications includes the performance management program. Payroll management covers records such as deductions and longevity pay. Personnel management includes employee medical records and personnel action requests. Position management includes applications and hiring packages. Staff development documents training required for agency personnel, such as bloodborne pathogen training. The function of information technology addresses tangible resources like networking hardware and computers, as well as intangible resources like software and data. Data administration includes data migration records and backups. Network and system administration encompasses IT assistance and system documentation. The function of infrastructure management involves the construction of public buildings, roads, and other public works. Construction management includes as-built drawings maintained by the Department of Administration, along with construction records for the Department of Transportation. Infrastructure design and planning includes design plans and pre-construction documentation. Transportation management and safety covers litter reports and traffic recorder counts. Law enforcement records document the efforts of state agencies to protect the lives and property of the state's citizens and people who visit and work in the state, as well as to supervise adults and juveniles sentenced after conviction for violations of North Carolina law. Corrections management encompasses adult and juvenile offender records. Crime prevention includes intelligence reports and sex offender registries. Criminal investigations covers case files and crime reports. Executive Protection and Special Security Event Services encompasses security for dignitaries and special events. Fugitive and Criminal Apprehension and Other Searches includes All Points Bulletins and Missing Persons Reports. Traffic Safety includes Collision Reports. The legal function involves protecting the rights, obligations, and interests of the agency or its individual employees or constituents. Affidavits, Authorizations, and Authentications includes Delegations of Authority and Release Forms. Agency hearings covers cases like tort claims heard by the Industrial Commission. Contract management includes contracts, leases, settlements, and titles. Court records includes Supreme Court and Court of Appeals decisions. Deposited records are those an agency must maintain but does not evaluate for compliance reasons, such as land records maintained by the Department of the Secretary of State. Legal matters management includes case files and Attorney General's opinions. Vital Records encompasses the birth, death, and marriage records held by the Department of Health and Human Services. The function of monitoring entails systematic periodic reviews to ensure quality products, performance, and the accomplishment of objectives. Compliance ensures that people and organizations meet all obligations and comply with regulations. Accountability and oversight includes audit reports as well as corrective measures. Authorizing and licensing encompasses applications as well as decisions regarding licenses, permits, and authorizations. Enforcement covers inspections and investigations. The function of public assistance and support services involves coordinating needs-related payments and providing a safety net for under-resourced populations. These functions also encompass workforce development and vocational rehabilitation. Claims and support services includes application and case records. Social services encompasses adoptions and foster care records. Unemployment assistance and workforce development includes both employer workforce records and unemployment insurance participant case records. Public relations is an outward-facing function of state agencies. Agencies document activities, promote initiatives, publicize accomplishments, and gather feedback from constituents. Agency publications include publications and social media instances. Community relations encompasses constituent requests, external surveys, and public records requests. Development includes acknowledgments and donor list for agencies that seek outside financial support. Marketing and publicity includes advertisements, photographs, and speeches from agency officials and events. Programming and training includes announcements and registration materials. Risk management is the function of identifying, analyzing, and assessing unacceptable risks, along with handling their avoidance, control, minimization, or elimination. Accidents, incidents, and damage encompasses accident reports and stolen property reports. Emergency management includes disaster planning and recovery. 
Hazardous Materials Management covers asbestos management plans. Insurance includes policies and certificates of insurance for agencies. Office Safety and Security includes visitor logs and office surveillance recordings. If you would like more information about this functional analysis initiative, visit our blog at ncrecords.wordpress.com and click on the rightmost tab. If you have any specific questions about the functional schedules, you may contact Becky McGee Lankford, head of the Government Records section, Courtney Bailey, project lead for functional schedules, or the records analyst assigned to your agency, as listed on our website. We thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial and look forward to working with you to implement this exciting initiative.